This is a wiring diagram of when you want to control a load at two different speeds. So when you apply one switch, it's going to go one speed. And then if you apply this switch, you have some kind of potentiometer over here that'll control the speed so you can slow it down. So in forward direction, we go at regular speed. And then in reverse direction, you could go at a different speed. So use whatever you're going to have for your power supply, typically a battery. I have two relays here. And what's going to happen with these relays is if you use this switch here, it's going to turn this switch off. So you can't turn both switches on at the same time because these switches are both going to be hooked up to the motor. This switch, see, this post is going to be negative and this post will be positive. So we don't want power going there, you know, causing an issue. Plus you should also have a fuse in this circuit here. So break this down a little bit. This is the negative circuit. So your negative is gonna feed each one of these double pull single throw switches. So when you apply the switch, the negative circuit just goes straight through. And then we just have to feed one side of the coil for the relay to be active. I haven't done a lot of research on what kind of potentiometer you could use. I'm sure there's something out there. So the positive, side you're going to fill this um, feed the common post here on the relay and then what that's going to do is that these are closed right now so this would feed positive to here so if i turn this switch on i'm going to feed positive to this coil which is going to open this relay and this positive will not exist here so we can't have both of them on at the same time but I flip this switch, then it'll put positive through here. So the same would be with this side here. If we applied positive here, it would open this switch. And then your positive would continue on through here, putting positive to this side of the motor. And then here's a diagram with this switch closed, showing you kind of what would happen. So we did apply this switch we're going to put power to this relay coil and this relay is going to shift the power to here we're not going to have nothing hooked up there so no power is going to this side but on this side we have our power this switch will be closed allowing power to go through and the negative side would go through so this is just showing that direction so the opposite would be true if we applied this switch here this circuit would open so no positive would be feeding this switch and then these would be reversed